Hey guys, I'm here with um, John, John Henry. Yeah, that's it, uh, John Henry. John Henry. Uh, he saw a video where I mentioned mushrooms once, and then he messaged me and said, I want to bring you mushroom hunting. He's like a mushroom specialist. I'm the mushroom guy. That's me. And, uh, and he was like, you want to go hunt mushrooms? I said, that's the fucking worst idea I've ever heard in my life. Now he is back in full force. All right, so just to prove that you are a mycologist. That's not what I am, but a, a forager, I guess. A forager. I have some pictures. Oh, fuck me. Okay. That All I right. want you to identify. Because he, okay. he, right. he gave me like a message. He was like, hey, dude, like maybe we could like eat some of them that we find. And I watched this documentary on mushroom hunters, and they're like, I've been doing this for 28 years, and I still refuse to eat a single mushroom that I've identified because I, you can just, one can be white with like little red dots on it and look identical to another one that'll make you shit out your guts and kill you, you all know? Right. Okay, and so, all right, all right, all right, let's see what's up here. All right, so I got these pictures. This is, I went on, uh, I did some, oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That, okay, <laughs> all right, buddy. This looks like it's like a turkey tail or something. Last time I, I went out doing the other, the other greenway. Where are we? J. Alfred? J. R. Alfred Greenway. J. R. Alfred Greenway. I went to another Greenway and I found these mushrooms. I took a picture of it. I said, this motherfucker better be able to identify this before he makes me eat anything. Okay, so uh, these mushrooms are sapotrophic, which is not exactly my specialty. That means that they're wood lovers. They attach to wood. I mostly look for like uh, more like ground dwelling mushrooms, but it looks like it might oh, be like, like the a... iconic shape. Yeah. Like the iconic mushroom the shape. I... This is more of like an iconic shape for a mushroom. This looks like a wine cap. A wine cap. Any mycologists online that are special uh, specialists in wine caps, tell me if that's right. This next one is the difficult one. Let's see if you can identify this ah. unique shape. That one looks like a Hawaiian penis envy. <laughs> Hawaiian penis envy. Aren't the can't those get you high as shit? Those get you high as shit. If yeah, you ever see something you like will be this, tripping dick. If you eat this mushroom, that's for sure. If you ever see something like this, shove it in your mouth immediately. This thing will Instant. get you high as fuck. Automatic, like, probably best trip you've ever had, man. You'll be seeing God for sure. It's weird, though. You're not supposed to chew them. Yeah, you're supposed to just, like, S caress them in their the mouth. Suck the high out of it. Our fucking cameraman left to go take a piss. But these guys are dressed like fucking boogaloo boys. It's awfully dry out here, right? For mushrooms. Yeah, uh, so the, well, as we go further in, it, we get to an area where it gets kind of marshy. <laughs> and so there's uh, definitely a lot more water retention in that area. If you were concerned, like, if you were me... Would you be concerned at all that you're meeting up with a random guy from the internet who then goes like, I got friends meeting me at the park too? Uh, you know, honestly, I'd be a little- Because now I'm, I'm completely outnumbered. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I mean, if we wanted to, we could just like take you hostage, like hold you for ransom, but, but uh, we're not gonna do that. That's not what we're about here. I feel like Adam might be on my side. Yeah. Adam, <laughs> Adam would hold it down for you. He's a big boy. He can take both of us, probably. <laughs> you, you know who you remind me of? You remind, who's that guy that's with Gus Johnson all the time? You, do you know that guy? I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. His, like, he was like his little friend. Do you, do you guys you. remember Gus Johnson? I remember him, but I don't know who his little friend is. Yeah, he got canceled because, like... He got canceled? Yeah. For what? What'd he do? He beat his girlfriend or something like that. Oh, no. No, no, he, like, knocked up his girlfriend, and then she was like, uh, you gotta be a dad or something. And the his little friend that they made videos together looks and sounds like you. You sound like him, uh -huh. too. Uh-huh. Gus Burback. Something Bur Burback, yeah. Oh, yeah, like Freddie Burbank, Burbank or something like that? Eddie yeah. Burback. Eddie Burback, not Freddie. Dave Brubeck. That's boo -ba, boo -boo -ba. Dave Brubeck, and I stand with Gus because he has uh, he's got the funny videos. Yeah. yeah, honestly, I mean, if your <laughs> shit's funnier, that's yeah. it. I'm on your side. Well, I in my my core beliefs, you can you can abuse one pregnant lady for every giggle you give me. Yeah. For I every mean, one giggle, you can get away with one domestic abuse. There. What about over there? Uh, that's we're going over that way. That's where the entrance of like the actual woods is, and that's where I have found Sean Terrell's last year. Now, what's the significance of a chanterelle? It's like a 
one of the primary is it edible? Culin- uh yeah it's like one of the primary culinary mushrooms it's really good uh usually grows in like sort of the hotter season fucking mushrooms out here dog yeah bro i'm repping tallahassee tiger shark wait have you ever seen these no no i don't <laughs> even know who that is here one of my earliest memories is i went to go see the tallahassee tiger sharks and it's like ice hockey right and so i thought oh this will be you know there's nothing bad that can happen there one guy falls and then when the other when he falls a uh, teammate steps on his face with the skate oh shit and sliced his fucking head open. And then the guy slid across the ice. And so I remember as a kid, I was watching, and I just see this like blood trail go whoosh, across the ice. Yeah. It was pretty that scarring. And crazy. then they brought out the Zamboni. <laughs> <laughs> and it just kind of like mushed the blood around a little bit. Just did, a- did that like emotionally scar you? It was pretty fucked up. My dad was like, all right, let's stop looking. Yeah. Like, All right, let's stop <laughs> looking. Yeah, let's like go get a fucking hot dog or something. Dude, we when I was know. growing up, my nobody in my family like drank or anything. Like it was against the law in the family to drink. Oh, I think, and yeah. My uncle would always give me shit. Like he was like, here's some fucking Hot Wheels cars, kiddo. And he would give it to me in a Crown Royal bag. That's pretty cool. And That's I was like, epic. I was like, oh, wow, where does he keep getting all these purple bags from? Yeah, my, um... My uh, great uncle has a blanket made out of Crown Royale bags. Fuck yeah. <laughs> That's unabashed. Yeah, no, no. no when, you, when you make like a throw blanket for your couch out of Crown Royale oh, bags, yeah, that's no. like, and, I'm And an it was like double layers, too. He fuck. had multiple layers of Crown Royale bags. So he had at least double the surface area of the blankets worth of Crown Royale bags. Have you guys ever done uh, like the magic, ma- magic mushrooms? Like the, yeah. Yeah. The, uh. I was watching like a documentary about that shit and the guy was like, hey, you'll, when you take mushrooms, you feel like a great oneness with uh-huh. everything. I don't know. I definitely feel like when I look at like things that are alive, I'm like, that's much cooler now. Mm. Everything's cool. I feel more connected to that for some reason. Yeah. All, when, when, I, when I took mine, all the racism in me. It all came it all, out? No, no, it was gone. Oh, it was it gone. completely erased it. Was it gone it, after? It's starting to wear off. It's starting to wear off. It's starting to wear off. It's coming back. Yeah, I noticed but. that that China video. You were a little bit lenient, but then towards the end, you started to get a little bit more, you know, towards anti. The end, I was like, these fucking people. If they weren't making my computers and clothes and food, I'd be fucking pissed at them. There's like, have you seen that burial method where they put you in a giant like fungus coffin? Yeah, in the like ground? where they decompose your ass. Yeah. That shit's Make fucking crazy, man. Are you like a like a mushroom cultist like that, where where you're? Um, no. Where you're interested in, in like, becoming part of the shroom I, I don't I don't think so. I feel like being a mushroom would be kind of mid, honestly. Oh, really? Yeah, because you kind of just got to, like, uh, like, sit there. Why don't you deprive the world of your nutrients and just shoot yourself into space? That'd be kind of sick, actually. That would be a lot better, right? Yeah, and then you'd be preserved forever in that, like, space. No, I want them to, like, launch me into the sun. I'm just saying, I don't oh, want yeah. any of, like, I want to take as much resources before I go like just eat. make sure that nobody can have that get that fuel that that everything mm-hmm. that you needed because I, I consume my whole life and then uh and then I guess the ultimate thing is to to just die and then and then give back what you've made to the world but fuck that right but fuck like, it. no I'm gonna eat 40 porterhouse steaks shoot myself in the face into the sun. and then they'll launch my body into the fucking sun I mean, if that's not the most American way to die, I don't know what it is. You, you getting know, a shroomy vibe from that? There's shroomy vibes. What's that white thing? I'm not seeing it. It was right. I, I saw, like, I could have swore I saw something here. Oh, deer. Yeah. Oh, deer. There oh. they go. So why do they why do they uh, tend to make, like, a little circle? Little mushrooms? Yeah, like a little, they hang out yeah. in, like, little circles. So the reason why they make circles is because the mushrooms aren't actually the thing that's alive. It's the fruiting body. It's, like, you know, fruit of a regular plant. The living thing is mycelium, which is the, like, white strands. That That's the cult that the people want to join. Right? Yeah, they want okay. to join Mycelium Nation, for sure. Okay. The mycelium, it spreads out essentially in, like, a circle because it just colonizes the soil out from, like, a point where it inoculates it. So it'll, like, start here and then go out like this. So eventually when the mushrooms come up, it's kind of a circle. That's, like, the boundaries of the crime scene. Yeah. Yeah. That's, like, where the uh, the shooting occurred. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't breathe on the camera, please. <laughs> All right, we got mad, bad cell service. Okay, one second. Maybe I have one. He's chewing on the microphone. I'm just waiting for a pick. This is what they look like. Yeah, that's what we're hunting for. 
Dude, you're one of those people. Hold on. This is kind of funny. Give me a, give me a thing. You're one of those people that just sweats on your mustache. Look at that. Fucking... <laughs> yeah, you just, you got like beads glistening up on just the stash. <laughs> awesome. I think this, get a close up on the deer shit. I think we need this. Yeah. Oh, I stepped in it. Awesome. Are we too? Should we come back in a day or two? Yeah, we could come back in a couple days and there might be like some psilocybin mushrooms if there's like a heavy shower. That smells like grass and shit. <laughs> Look for areas. Let's say that are hypothetically wettish. I was trying to grow psilocybin in my closet. Uh-huh. Like hypothetically, hypothetically, like how speaking, would I set that up? How would you set that? I mean, yeah. Most mushrooms you kind of just set it up the same way. Could uh, I take like a pocket full of that deer shit and then just like hide it in the corner of my closet? I mean, you'd probably have to like mix it with some like cocoa core or something, but yeah, I mean, theoretically. What's you could do cocoa that. core? Just like ground up coconut shell oh. husks. So I don't actually need like psilocybin, like mushroom spores. I just need. No, you need the spores for sure. How do I, I get those? I, I thought you meant it's like a medium. I mean, they're not illegal. You can buy them on the internet if you want. So like, like if you were to just name drop, like maybe a website where like I don't that know. might be. I don't know. Like I'm Silk a, Road or something. I'm a good boy. I don't do that. You know, no. you, you can buy them on like the like Google. You can just Google. The feds are about to do a sweep. I repeat, the feds are doing a sweep. <laughs> I was trying to think of like what are those like drug dealing websites like the. Uh, like uh, all those other ones. Um, I'm gonna get a knock. Just change it the other direction. Just be like, yeah, my my favorite website's uh, motherless.com or uh, do you guys remember that website? No, what the fuck is <laughs> my, this? My favorite website's heavyr.com. Oh my god, dude, shut, up. <laughs> shut up, shut up. That way we'll get locked up for something like, something respectable. Something less morally um, corrupt. corrupt than eating mushrooms. Yeah. For sure. Like, you can still be a good man and a prolific rapist, I think, right? Uh, yeah. If I mean, you, like, give a lot of money to your community or something. Yeah, I mean, that's like, that's like, uh, what, the, the Jeffrey Epstein method, right? <laughs> yeah. If you, like, like, maybe have, like, a really cool house or something, then yeah, I'm sure you can... Yeah, like a private <laughs> island or something yeah, like, like that. Yeah, like, uh, like a nature preserve on a private island. Yeah. I think you can probably get away with a lot of shit. Because it's more nuanced than just good or bad. Obviously, the world is, like, gray areas of things. Like, what's the worst thing you've done? The worst thing just I've like, done. Yeah. Whoa. Two mics. Uh, like, just like, what's like, if you were like, what's the biggest law breaking yeah, thing? Recording. Like, how, what's like the most people you've murdered in one afternoon? <laughs> like, if you were to bury a body, like, anywhere in like the continental United States. I can't, yeah. Oh, yeah. Swamp don't leave no trace. You know, I mean, <laughs> if I'm putting a body somewhere, it's going in the Everglades for sure. Not that you should check there, <laughs> FBI, if you're watching. That's a lot of uncovered. You know what I'd do? I'd put it on a fucking uh, uh, Native American reservation. Yeah. Because they, they have their own police, right? Yeah, and they probably... And they probably suck. They <laughs> probably police fucking suck. They probably don't got the, the funds. They, that's why there's not a fucking CSI Navajo edition. I don't like, know. Maybe they got, like... <laughs> maybe instead of police, they just have, like, bodyguards that, like, they're the, they hire because they got that casino money. Mm. And they just do their own private police. They I don't the, know. I don't they know They have those guards that have the pole, the pole axes, and when you walk up, they cross them. Yeah, and then they're like, halt, you may not yeah. pass. Yeah, Native Americans are awesome, though. Native Americans go hard. Shout out to all the Native Americans. Uh, go ahead and make sure you hit that like mm -hmm. button. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. And uh, make sure you comment, Native Americans rock. But if you're a Native American, could you guys, like, stop, like, raping so much? <laughs> like, <don't> they, <laughs> they have, like, a horrible problem with, like, sexual assault in those reservations, I think. Hey, you know, I, I'm not one to judge the culture. It sounds like you're judging. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Native Americans, you guys keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> Is that a mushroom? That looks no. like a berry. It's a berry. It's not a mushroom. That's why Wait, I said yeah. holly berry, not holly mushroom. Mm. Well, you didn't tell me you were a fucking berryologist. Like, what the? What, are those good to eat? Um, I wouldn't eat them. I mean, if you want to eat it for views, that, those, those you biscuits, wouldn't die. Those biscuits and gravy are wearing off, dude. Those I'm biscuits getting, and yeah, gravy, getting, you're, you're getting a little spent. My tummy is getting empty. Getting a little empty. You got to get something in there. What if I'm like, I'm concerned about you guys harming me. And by the end of this, I start panicking and I just kill all three of you. <laughs> I don't know. I was like a quarter mile away from the car and I got hungry. I don't know. <laughs> I had to eat something. I, I had to eat something. Right. And then when I started eating one, the other ones freaked out and I knew they were going to tell on me. So, yeah. I said we could share the fat one. <laughs> Who are you eating first? You know this motherfucker. He's like scrappy. He probably tastes like shit, like a fucking possum that you find in an alleyway. Like he's yeah. just, I'm like he's uh, just got a scrappy look to him. 
you seem like you'd be like a um I'm like, I'm like A5 Wagyu. Where the where there's a, the oh, here's prime, rib. prime rib. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at these. Are these edible? Uh they look like they're a little bit light to be chanterelles, but let's Oh, these are chanterelles. They're just really white. Oh look at that. Yeah. You can tell by the fact that they have false gills. So like when you when you just decapitate it like that, just yank it from the soil. Uh -huh. Like did you just murder it? Johnny, show off the pieces. Of no. Show off what makes it a chanterelle. Yeah. So here you can see uh, on the bottom here, these are called false gills. Uh, most mushrooms, like the ones you find at the store, they have like feathery gills that uh, protrude from here. But these ones you can see they're entirely flat and rubbery. Wait, if you guys and stay in the exact same tell, position, this is a chanterelle. If you guys stay in the exact same position, I can grab the camera, and I can show off. Smells just like him. Too. John Henry's got testicle-shaped sweat marks on the bottom side of oh, his Oh, hell pants. yeah. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> look, at, look at that down there. Let's go, baby. Fucking balls have been You know ladies it. love a little bit of sweat. <laughs> it's just two Let's circles of fucking sweat. You see where his balls have been draped over his pants. <laughs> Do we want to collect some of these? Yeah, yeah. Should, yeah, should oh, we get yeah. <clears throat> Is lighter. there like a method? Do I, do I just twist and yeah, pull it so, off? Yeah, uh, so grab it by the base and twist. Oh. And try to get as little dirt as you can because uh, washing them off is a bitch. Okay. Uh, like, okay. So right. like, I get, is yeah, that, that's fine. Is yeah. that like a good... That's, that's fine. Get yeah. a zoom in from all the way over there. It's like a good amount of dirt on the bottom. I've never had a problem eating them. I've eaten them raw before. I'll eat one if you feed it to me, Sam. I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't. Let me, for the record, I wouldn't recommend eating any mushroom that you haven't cooked and that you haven't don't know how to properly identify. You want to hear something kind of funny that uh, that Bizzle did when when we all took mushrooms? What was the uh, like as they were starting to kick in? Bizzle thought it would be a good idea to keep because Brian was starting to panic. He thought it would be a good idea to tell him. He's just like, no, no, no. Like the reason why your tummy's upset is because. Like your the mushrooms are like poisoning your body, and that's your body like handling the poisoning of the stomach. And Brian's like, "Don't tell me freaking that." He's the like, fuck out. He's yeah, like naturally. freaking out. He's like, "I'm like, Vizzle, why would you think that would calm him down?" That is like the it's least calming trip. thing. What are these called? Chanterelles. 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 Yeah. So I've noticed that like at the grocery store, they they sell two mushrooms. Yeah. Like, why don't they sell chanterelles? So, a lot of mushrooms have a symbiotic relationship with, like, the roots of trees and, like, uh, in nature. So they're not economically viable to grow? Yeah, it's, it's really hard to grow them in, like, a controlled commercial setting. Which is why a lot of mushrooms are, either you have to get them dried or you have to get them. And you couldn't grow them year-round, most likely, I wouldn't think. You'd need, like, a climate-controlled facility. So, uh, I'll get a close-up on this one. This one is closer in color to what they usually look like. They're usually a little bit more Yo, we're having, you know Donut Operator? No. I love no, Donut Operator. he's, like, operator. a cop guy YouTuber. Yeah. We, like, bullied him into being on his podcast. Wait, does my... he have a mustache? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah must... I, he does, like, commentary with police videos? Yeah, he's, yeah. Like, he's like, this is why, like... You guys are idiots. Like, the cops should have shot this pregnant lady, like, seven times. <laughs> you guys don't understand. She had, like, a vegetable peeler. We had to gun her down. What happened What happened to the good old days when you could, like, not That's like rioters and also not like cops? Now it's like you have to pick a side. Yeah, right? And it's like uh, it's like the same thing with, like, uh, like relationships and stuff, right? Because you're either yeah, you an, have in, to pick you're like either a, guy a simp or, or you're an incel. Oh, I was going to say you either have to pick, like, a guy oh, or Okay, a well, there's yeah. multiple directions you can take it. It's true either way. <laughs> like, all the... It, the pol the youth are polarized for sure. This yeah. is the most polarized times we've seen in, in a while. There's always like that girl in class going like, "What? Like we can't fuck dogs? Like what the?" <laughs> What's up here? He thinks, he thinks there's mushrooms up there. No this guy's not a fucking expert. Fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, he's an idiot. What the hell? <laughs> mushrooms grow on the floor, dude. I was yeah. looking for mushrooms. <laughs> They're down here. Oh, here's another one. You want this one? Oh, that's uh. Wait, let me see it. That one's got moss on it. It's going to have... It's got... No, it's, it's a little... Got a it's got a spider in it. No, we're not taking the spider. Yeah, it's his little home. Look at him. Yeah. Get a close-up on this cute little spider. He's hanging out in there. It's right there. See? Oh, we made him leave. Yeah. There he is. I don't want to disturb him, but he was right... He was, like, right here. He was, like, right there. Oh. Somewhere. <laughs> I did not get that shot at all. That was a disaster. <laughs> He's right here somewhere. <laughs> So like besides chanterelles and possibly like, you probably like, find like what other what other types of uh, all right what about those big ones that open up and they smell like a dead body? Oh, those ones that are like the orange ones and they like grow in like a sphere shape. What's the one that looks like a Pokemon but it doesn't have a face on it? Okay, well that's that's I don't even know what that like means. A we, like a weeping bell. Like a is it weeping bell that looks like a giant mushroom? 
Uh, no, 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 it's like, it's like a, looks Volva, like a pitcher plant. Volvasaur or something? It's, dude, all I know is the first generation of Pokemon. That's when I stopped. Is it one? Yeah, what's that one called? Uh, oh, it's those def- aren't, uh, I don't, I don't think those are real. Vioplume. Vio God, that wasn't even close. Yeah, those are, those aren't, yeah. uh, those aren't real, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon oh, are- is not real, Sam, I'm no, sorry. No, 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 not like the mushroom with a face on it, but like, like if you take away the Pokemon-ness of it, it's, it's, it's still just a mushroom, mushroom yeah. Yeah, but I don't I don't know of any like uh, mushrooms with a blue stem. There's mushrooms that bruise blue, but they don't like come out. Not that no, I'm aware no, of. Like, not here in Florida. I'm saying like are there giant mushrooms? Here we are, fellas. It's a beautiful day in the woods. <laughs> you don't have to keep rolling. <laughs> He's like trying to get a single sip while filming. <laughs> Why are you so sweaty? <laughs> I'm a really sweaty guy. Your face is like pouring sweat. It is hot. He's, he's, he's got a dry face. <laughs> he's Irish. He doesn't sweat. Yeah, the it's Irish means it's, it's... We'll go to the gym after like three hours, and he's just not sweating at all. Now, uh, here's an example of a mushroom that I would not eat, uh, like, white mushrooms in general. I just fucking ate it. Because uh, white, <laughs> white mushrooms tend to look like uh, a mushroom known as the destroying angel. And that shit will fuck you up. It'll kill you really quickly. So uh, What's so deadly about it? They're just mad toxic. I don't know if this is one of them. I don't think it is. What are the odds? But uh, the odds are not, like, it's, it's maybe not high odds, but the odds if you pick it up, you die pretty much, like, within hours. So. Oh, wait, just from touching it? No, like, eating it. Oh, okay. And I don't even think that this is one of them. I'm just saying that this it is, sinks. like. This is an example of a mushroom I would not eat unless you knew exactly what it was and you knew it was safe. So, like, is there a danger of, like, uh, let's say... Like, what if, like, I breathe in spores? Are there any that'll turn me into, like, the zombies from The Last of Us or anything? Uh, no. There's this, uh, I remember this story from a while ago. This guy goes into his kitchen to make a sandwich. Uh-huh. And he opens up his bread. And, oh, wait, never mind. That's mold. Yeah. <laughs> mold is, that's uh. a completely different thing. Mold is a very different fungus. He, he, op- <laughs> he opens up the bag and two mushrooms stab him in the eyes and kill him immediately. Both mushrooms <laughs> are actually CWC holders and had, uh, AR-15s. Yeah, they, they, and they Castle Doctrine. Down. Yeah, they, Castle Doctrine on, on the fucking bread bag. And you know what? They took the mushrooms to court and they won. <laughs> so do you, uh, do you have a, do you have a, a significant other? Do you have a girlfriend? I do. You do? So there's, like, a... There's a lot of a uh, lot of pussy in the mycology game. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, bitches bitches love mushrooms. <laughs> bitches love. Do you uh, do you talk up like the spiritual a- uh, aspect to the whole mushroom thing, or do you? Because women love that shit. Like, oh yeah, no, one hundred percent. Yeah, no. If you if you're well, talking I'm a Gemini, about some... so I feel like we're kind of in tune. We I sense them out in the woods. And I go. Yeah, I'm actually like a nature spirit. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm like a druid almost. <laughs> a druid. A mushroom. That's dude. my Celtic ancestry. I just feel really in tune with nature. You know, if if I can make it doing what I do, if you can make it hunting mushrooms and shit and foraging around like a homeless person, then there's someone for everybody. There is yeah. someone for everybody, guys. Yep. Never give up. Uh, I think technically after this gate, it's someone else's property, but I've gone back there before and they haven't been mad at me. This is where the, the little like uh, little creek, little lake, little area is. It's not a creek or a lake. This is a it's fucking. A swamp. This is a straight up swamp. Yeah, this but place I like swamps. This is a fucking shithole. There's, there's turtles out here and shit, bro. <laughs> this place fucking sucks Look, so bro. bad. <laughs> hey, man. This is someone's private property. Someone paid money for this place. <laughs> this place fucking sucks. You're out here. It's like 98 degrees, and you ain't got no fucking socks on. Uh. He doesn't sweat. He doesn't care about the black side. He's, uh, he's just Irish. That's what are you a fucking I'm lizard? I'm built for potatoes, <laughs> man. I'm literally all right. So I'm I'm Irish. So I'm built for I'm built for harvesting potatoes, and then I'm from Florida. So I'm built to tolerate the heat. You know, I didn't realize. I didn't realize potatoes aren't indigenous to Ireland. Did you know that? No, they are not. Yeah, Yeah, the English brought them in, and then from South America, and they were like, anybody want these? Nobody wanted them. They're like, give them to the fucking Irish. They'll eat them. Well, and then the the other crazy thing is, is that a lot of people say that they were like monoculturing, like they were only growing potatoes, which. they were is is kind of true, but the reason it's true is because they were doing like hybrid cultures of like you know grains and shit as well, but they were required to sell it all back to England. So even though they were actually doing multiple different crops, they had to sell off everything that wasn't a potato back to England. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah. No wonder they fucking hate those guys. Yeah, for sure. Welcome. We stand with the IRA mm. on the General Sam channel. Yeah. If you guys agree with me, we'll see you. Everybody meet up at the Capitol on... (laughs)
<laughs> January 6th. Suspiciously close to the 10 year anniversary of my channel. So I get every, everybody that watches the channel gets arrested. I'm like, no, 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 wait, you guys are here for an insurgency? Like we were, we were here just meeting up for the channel <laughs> anniversary. <laughs> yeah, this General is Sam is Q from QAnon, confirmed. Yeah. This is, uh, we're here for like a channel meet and greet. I didn't know Roger Stone was a fan. Why is he here? <laughs> Oh, you should see, you know, Stalt, he's sweating hard because they just had an update where every every voice channel now has its native text channel so that you don't have to have, like, a general chat or, like, a separate chat. Uh -huh. Each room has its own chat. And so he's like, I'm going to have to fucking moderate, like, 50 different little text chats where they could be putting together oh some sort of terrorist attack or something. <laughs> because they had, they had, like, that weird Nazi circle, and I didn't even realize it was there forever. And then Stalt found he's like, there's like a bunch of Nazis on here, ain't <laughs> Where do these guys come from? Yeah. What's fucked up, though, is that we they went under the radar because a lot of them were like uh, LGBTQ. They were like the gay Nazis and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. as soon as you're like... There's like a lot of Nazi furries, too. Yeah. It's weird. As soon as you're like part of that, like once you're gay or something, it's like you, you think like there's no way this person's an extremist. You know, yeah. but boom, because they're part of the you're part of the group, you know, love and peace. Yeah. And then all of a sudden these guys are like, Yo, let's suck each other's dicks. And like, all right, guys, we're going to bomb the financial district in our furry costumes. Everybody show up. Are we just like walking in on this guy's private ass residence? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really been to this right part right before. I bet that guy's got mushrooms in his fridge. <laughs> <laughs> let's check it out. Oh, yeah, we're out doing a foraging video. Is that right if we hit your fridge and pantry up? <laughs> We're looking for things that grow naturally. Uh, little Debbie cakes. Uh, <laughs> get some fucking ramen, top ramen. Prime oh, yeah. look at this—a Marie Calendar pot pie. Yeah, I fresh don't from think the tree out here. I didn't think it was. I thought season. these only grew up north. They won't did mind. Do you, you see Kyle Rittenhouse get his ass beat in that video? No. I did not see that video. What? Yeah, Kyle. He he uh, he got into like a fight with a girl, and he ended up like punching her around. Ah. Ooh. And then um, that's a no no. Wait, let's, yeah. let's preface it. That's a no no. <laughs> and then uh, and then these guys uh, got out of a out of a car and beat the shit out of him. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yeah, he got jump light by like four four black dudes, which was like his. You should have seen him too. The whole time he's getting punched, he's sitting there going like, "What the?" <laughs> like reaching, around, like, "Where's my AR?" <laughs> 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 she was probably gonna get an abortion or something like that. He was yeah. pre he was doing a preeminent strike. What? Those are the same berries from Those before. Those are the same ones. Oh. Fucking idiot. What's the, what's the point in teaching this guy shit if he's not going to retain it? I'm a little idiot. I don't know. What's the name of them? Red berries. What's the name of this thing? Red berries? Yeah, the berries. He already taught us about the berries. What's the name of the berry? I don't listen when he says Holly things. Berry. John Henry, what's, that? what's the name of it? Holly berry. Holly yeah. berry. That's what I was going to say. I knew it. The loudest leaves ever. What? Detrivores? Yeah, Who the I'm fuck are you? You're not the mushroom guy. Oh, wait, are they called detrivores? Uh... Do they eat detritus? I, I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> detritus. What's that? What's detritus? This. Like dead waste? Shit. Oh. Dead shit that accumulates and turns into a, what, a nice are, taste on the floor. Are you mushroom guy? Are you like a... What's your qualifications for knowing what detritus is? He lives Spending too much guy. time around mushroom guys. <laughs> Rubbing off on people. <laughs> Positive. It's okay to get into like a hobby. Like really invested in a hobby. But if I was like learning about mushrooms and shit, that would not be in my like hanging out on a couch conversation list. Yeah. Anyways, guys. Anyways, I learned about mushrooms today. Some of these eat detritus, detritus, or whatever the fuck he said. Detritus. Detritus. That thing goes so fucking hard. Look at that. What's funny though is there was like these two old dudes that were like working on my house, contractors, and uh -huh. they like cornered me in the driveway and they wanted to do like man talk, you know, mm -hmm. which I have to like play at. I have to. Got to do a little bit of the fake it till you make it. Yeah, I have to do like method acting. Yeah, or I just put myself in the in the body of a man that actually does shit like that. And they're like, dude, did you see the new Top Gun? That shit hits just as hard as the old Top Gun. It's just like a remake, but good, but better. The, yeah, the flying scenes are way more badass. Russia is way gayer than they were in the first one. Like, we make them look like pussies on like the first one. No, honestly, uh, people that are into lactation fetish, you're out of luck, dude. Because when women start lactating, that shit's worth more than like printer ink and weight. It is like the most valuable thing in the world. They and what they do is they like 
usually women don't like do the titty in, or in the mouth thing because that's like a pain in the ass. You have to be like on call 24 seven. So what they do is they pump. They use breast pumps, yeah. and they put it in little baggies, uh-huh. and then they put it in the fridge. And then they sell it to China. For later. Oh, you can sell it. You can sell it. I can't believe I don't it's think the they, sex talk for me. I don't think they do it. No, what's funny, though, is, like, the the worst time I've ever seen my wife just, like, emotionally break down was she put the baggie down and then went to go move the pump, and the fucking, like, little tube thing, like, grabbed the edge of the bag and pushed it over, oh. and the breast milk spilled everywhere, and it was, like, 3 a.m. when she was pumping. Holy fuck. And she was just in the kitchen, just... <laughs> just, like, ug- ugly awful. face, ugly face crying because she spilled. And I'm like, bitch, don't cry over spilled milk. Isn't that the, <laughs> isn't that the saying? She that labored over it. Yeah. I was like, just do it like a guy. Just produce your shit and put it on a napkin and throw it in the garbage. Like, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Is that, do they have, I, I was reading something the other day, it was like, really seven out of it. ten stores are out of yeah, baby formula. formula's on, its, on a shortage, but... You know what I've always said is you gotta those babies you gotta pull themselves up by their bootstraps. For real, like they need they, to start. What are foraging. they contributing to? Yeah, they need to get out here and start <laughs> earning their their meals. Yeah, why babies need to get on in chantrail? Isn't that what they're called? Chantrails? Sounds like chantrails. Like chantrails. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, I've made it sound like we're hunting for a black lady out here. <laughs> chantrail. Um, those things are baby height. Like they're right off the ground. It's perfect yeah. food for a baby. Yeah, I mean, as long as they don't eat, like, a, something that's not a chanterelle, they'd be fine. Yeah. Eat them. Have you seen those people who, like, they, uh, they chew chalk? Like, no. they eat it? Yeah, it's, like, particularly common in some parts of Georgia. They just, like, eat Like, chalk. the country or, like, the state? No, the state. Like, <laughs> north. George, like, uh, up north from us, Georgia. Um. Wait, like... <laughs> Like Georgia, yeah. like six hours away from here, Georgia. Like there's six just like, out, of, six hours away from. There's here, Georgia. a cultural thing of just eating like sidewalk chalk. Yeah, it's mostly like you know, like uh, poorer people, but they say it like helps with like their their digestion. Like it makes their stomach feel it's better. Mostly poor people, they eat chalk. Okay. Yeah, believe it or not. <laughs> okay. Well, it's like <laughs> I don't know. I'm just stating the facts. That's just how it is. It's just Georgia. That's well, just I Georgia. don't think that had to be stated. I you didn't. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird. Like, all these, like, Fortune 500 CEOs are just eating lots of chalk. Have you ever seen those people that just eat, like, a bicycle? Like, they just eat... Yeah, the, the, like metal. So yeah. they ate, like, a whole airplane. Yeah. It took them, like, three years. How do you even get into... Where did he get the money to buy a fucking Boeing to eat? Who funded that? No, not just that, but, like, why do you... Why would you start that? Who just goes, like, I'm just going to eat this, like, tin can or whatever, see what happens. I mean, I could see, like, the, the like, sword swallowing or whatever, because, like, you just pull it right back out. Yeah. And I'm assuming it's not razor sharp. My old stepdad's daughter was a, uh, was a sword swallower. I didn't believe it. Dude, you know what's cool about that? What? Is that's, like, the lamest thing to get into. But, like, if I saw a bitch do sword swallowing, I'd be like, hey, you want to, like, go on a date or whatever? Like, <laughs> I saw you just, like, swallowed that claymore. <laughs> I was All the way fucking down to your sweet. fucking belly without cool. gagging. Yeah, do you want to like go like maybe like fucking my car or whatever? <laughs> so, anyways, this lady was like related to you. You said right? Well, she was my stepdad's like, daughter. She, she oh, like, she's before, not like, blood related. No blood related. Okay, and where does she live? I think Texas. Texas? That's not that far. So y'all, drive. y'all Texas boys. Y'all, y'all go hit her up. <laughs> okay, so this lady is she hot? No. <laughs> no. Okay. But she's a sword swallower. You yeah. said okay. <laughs> trade offs. Trade offs. Yeah. I didn't like my stepdad very much, but what I could tell, he, he thought she was, like, a little bit of a disappointment for, like, oh, yeah. for, you know, for going out and uh, and growing up and being, like, a, you know, a sword swallower instead of something yeah. something productive. Well, she Some went to college and she found out what her passion was. Yeah, yeah, that's just how it it's, is. Uh, that's where you try new things. Yeah. Like, sword You know he saw the evolution of that. Yeah, that's the worst part. Because like, he was, she started dating and then she all of a sudden was like, yo, like, my boyfriend says I'd be really good as, like, a <laughs> circus freak. Who My boyfriend be- tells me I could swallow almost anything without panicking and puking, so. And then her dad's just like, fuck, my life. I'm going to fucking kill myself. It's so over. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that with a shoulder. Oh, there he goes. I've been here before, like a million years ago. Before that was all grown up. Yeah. I feel like my fucking uncle. I remember my uncle. We'd go down uh, Capitol Circle, uh-huh. the road, and he would be like, I remember back when this was just called the trucker route. The trucker route. <laughs> I had like a huge booger hanging out of my nose this whole time. Nobody said a fucking thing. I didn't know that's worse. Either. That's worse than murdering me in the woods. That's fucking. She just stabbed me. The video. She's We're just... on the trail, partner. You gotta get dirty. 
Honestly, I might hit a fucking Whataburger on the way home. Whataburger does Whataburger? go hard. Yeah, yeah. What's your go-to order? <laughs> number uh, number two, I think, and then like the double. Not, uh, the double. Yeah, and then the double with cheese. You gotta get the patty melt or like. The... Have you ever gotten the triple meat, triple cheese? No. Been. Oh my god, dude. I'll try it today. No, you eat them and then you just have to go home and watch like four movies. Like you're not gonna, <laughs> your body just shuts down trying to decompose all that crap in your gut. Yeah. You just like go into like a insulin like, stupor. Yeah, like meat sweats. You get the meat sweats real bad. It's like you just like. Or you would get like the fucking ball sweats or whatever the hell. You fucking freak is <laughs> sweating just from your balls. <laughs> Dude, air those things out. You gotta walk like that. You gotta do the wide. <laughs> Ooh, the boys I wanna do, yeah, get the boys here. some air, dude. Stepping on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like some mulberries. Can we Check it out. Can I eat that? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. I want to dig these up actually. Oh wait, it's a your fucking big Edit forehead is blocking it. There we go. See that? Is it focused? No. There we go. That's a good finish. Oh yeah, that's hot. Sweet. Little sour. Little sour. That's sour as fuck. Give it a taste. What's the consensus? Good. I like the texture. It's uh, it's solid, got a good crunch, but there's some juice in there. Flavor, kind of sour, not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Wait, if you turn a little bit, we can get a uh, turn this way. Oh my God, is there any way where the sun will get on your face? Look straight up. Yeah, there, there we go. All right, now hold on, hold still. The flavor is oh my God, mediocre at best. Look at the, the look at the unbeaten. sweat on that stash. That isn't oh, all right. What? Yeah, I'm fine with that. <laughs> no, I don't have a problem with gay people. Let's go. Only when they won't. <laughs> Fuck me! Like I That's fucking the only hate time those gay people. <laughs> yeah, hate it when gay people won't fuck me. I like women too, unless they won't fuck me. Then I hate them. <laughs> Why won't you fuck me? <laughs> Dude, look how like scary this looks. Look in each direction. Do you see the fucking exit? <laughs> Just out in the middle of fucking nowhere. It's so hot too. It's mad hot today. I am surprised at how dry you are. Yeah, so no, that's that's kind of wild. Dry. Oh. There's no back sweat at all. <sighs> you are perfectly fine. Driest back in the game. Oh it's God. the forehead. It's got more surface area, yeah. so it absorbs the heat. The forehead's not even that wet either. He's just built different. <laughs> you are sweating like a hog. <laughs> You're fucking sweating like a fat guy, man. You got a fat guy sweat. That'll suck too if you ever get fat, because then you're gonna sweat even worse. You're just gonna. Oh really? That's what it is. Just like my titty sweat, dude. I told you once I started sweating from the tits when I was fat, and I lost weight. I still have the titty sweat. You were fat at one point, so you got fat people sweat genes now, and you lost all your weight. And you still sweat like a fat guy. It's like a. It's a curse. These look like they might be buttons. Buttons? Yeah, like what you see at the store. But oh. are those edible? Uh, it looks like they might be, but I don't know for sure, so I wouldn't eat it. Hold on a second, hold on. I did, I thought we might be like foraging around, backpack. I thought we might be like foraging around more and like split up. I was gonna be like, like, whoa, I found like a fucking portobello mushroom or whatever. Yeah, these are like the, I think this is a white button, but I'm not positive. Uh, I got a button in here, I think. Is that what, I found it naturally pre-sliced, is that what that, no. It's like a baby bella. What's this? Oh shit, what are these? Uh, I, don't, I don't know what that is. This is obviously edible because I got it from the store, but... I, the What's with portobellos? Why are they so sweaty? Have you noticed that? Uh, they just get greasy because they've been sitting there for a long time. Oh, gross. What's your, your major again? Psychology. Psychology? Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking about going to medical school to like be a psychiatrist. Mm. Like help people with their... Yeah, like give them pills. Oh, like get med medically? Yeah, like med them? yeah, like uh, because the main difference between a psychiatrist and a psychologist is just that one can prescribe medication and they have like an MD. Mm -hmm. Could you give yourself pills? Uh, you probably could, but if somebody noticed, they'd be like, "Why are you giving yourself like uh, like okay, benzos?" And then, and then you say, "Because I'm a fucking goddamn psychiatrist, and I if I, if anybody's don't question my authority. <laughs> yeah, if anybody's able to tell who needs them, it's me. Yeah, I mean, if you have your own practice, what are they gonna do? First? Yeah, you should you should go to a therapist first. I mean. In, so, in general, if you don't have to be on pills, you shouldn't be on them because you shouldn't be like fucking with your brain chemistry if it's not needed. Yeah. Uh, but uh, didn't I just see you smoke a um, a weed, what a weed thing? 
I, oh, but I have a medical marijuana card in the state of Florida. Oh, okay. And that's necessary for like, I'm sure like some sort of... Mushroom hunting. Yeah, it's necessary Like for a psychological thing that you have, right? Like yeah. anxiety or something? Yeah, bro. I got mad anxiety. I got to hit that booth pack for real. Bro, I need to hit it for anxiety. <laughs> so I heard people only get into like psychology if they're, uh, if they're trying to resolve their own inner demons. Yeah, this guy's fucked. My, yeah, my head is just like... Fried. So fried. It's gone. I don't even know it's real anymore. Is that from like drug use or is it just like born? Uh, a little bit of both. A little yeah. bit of both. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. What about you? What's your major? Uh, I'm statistics and risk management and insurance. Okay, so you're actually gonna like make money and shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? I'm accounting. Okay, okay, so so he'll be like replaced by like a computer next year. Yeah. And like CPAs are gonna be like Nah bro, I'm gonna try to get into the uh, I'm gonna try to get into the bludgeoning uh, psychedelic mushroom therapy market oh nice and then i'll just pioneer a field and then i'll make hella bread nice you can work for like the cia and like give people yeah i can just start dosing people yeah. yeah yeah we've been like just loading up these homeless people with acid to see what happens the crazy thing like uh that people don't realize like uh, a lot of the time and i think this is probably something that they like should start off therapy telling people especially like depressed people is, is that, that i'm uh, depressed Huh? Is like, I'm depressed, like they should be open about it? Or? Oh no, well, I mean like what a therapist should say to them oh. is that like, uh, statistically speaking, half the time depression will go away with time. And then if you're, t you're in therapy, it goes away like 70% of the time. Do you agree and with that? And if you're doing therapy okay. and you have medication, it goes away like 80% of the time. He's in the statistics and you said statistically speaking. Yeah. I was like, that's outside your Yeah, you're the math house. guy, yeah. you tell us. I'm a certified math guy. Is this guy fucking for real? Is he being <laughs> He's being truthful. He's being, now I, that I, he's talking statistically and we're in your wheelhouse, theory. yeah. I double check everything that Johnny says. <laughs> okay. He's my fact checker. So if you that's were- That's why he's on the payroll. Yeah. So like this guy's end goal is his passion in life is to prescribe himself like benzos and stuff. But what about you? Like what does a statistic guy do? Uh, I'm trying to think, like, what's a company that does statistics? Everything. Everybody. Every company. Like, that, that, that's, like, that's the great thing about the majors. I can literally do anything I want. You should work for Siemens. Have you ever heard of that company? Oh, yeah, for sure. That, that's actually on the top of I my list. I don't know what they do, but I know everybody knows the name of the company because it's funny. Yeah. You know, I feel like you guys got the, th you're each friends and you have, like, a very different vibe, each of you. Oh, yeah, very much so. You guys should do, like, uh, gun running. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like, you ever seen that movie War Dogs? Yeah, yeah that'd be sick. Yeah. I feel I like, feel like I could, could do that. I feel like we could do that. I don't I don't have very much empathy or, like, I can't really put myself in the shoes of others, so I could probably what? sell firearms and, like, uh, conflict. This I guy, could probably sell it to both sides. I wouldn't even This care. guy does the logistics. Yeah. Oh. You talk to, like, the I'll warlord the, people. Yeah, I'll be And the, then you, you seem like the guy that would talk to, like, the actual fucking feds. <laughs> and be like, no, this is, like, a legal gray area. Like, as long as we ship through this border, it's all right. Yeah. But, like, you, that motherfucker never talks to the feds, ever. <laughs> he he looks nah. like fucking young Bam Margera in the face. It's just a face that gets you locked up. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Johnny hates the feds. What? I got no paperwork? I can't fucking move rocket launchers? What's this country come to? Get this a shot is, of them clouds. Yeah, get a shot. Get, look at them clouds up there. Look at that. Them bitches. You know how much a cloud weighs? How much? Tell me. I don't, I don't know. I was hoping you'd know. You're the statistic I, guy. It, I'm pretty sure it's actually really heavy. Yeah. Then why is it all floating up there, like, you know? Oh, man. <laughs> Fucking tell me that, math yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah, so science your way out of that shit. Contrary to popular belief, <laughs> I don't have all the answers in the universe. Oh, then this guy, I think the only entrance is over there. And this guy's a fucking retard, and I'm sticking with the guy that can <laughs> prescribe me shit. The guy that just don't know shit and can prescribe <laughs> me meds. That's what I'm talking about. You want Ben? <laughs> yeah. Got you with that. <laughs> That's way better than fucking science numbers guy that can't explain why shit's floating up there. <laughs> like, name one statistics job. One statistics job? Yeah. You just do statistics. That's, that's it? it? That's just it. What, just people want to know? That's not a job. Like, doing statistics yeah, that's isn't not a job. job. You expect to get a paycheck from doing statistics? Fuck yeah. All right, let's say you got a business, right? You got to know, you know, what yeah. you're earning. Insurance analysis with it. Yeah, that, that. You can do that too. Um, Insurance analysis. Here. This now looks like the most, oh this God. looks like we're doing like a drug deal. Yeah, yeah, the I swear, down. officer, these are wild. Look at the, look at the hall, man. Look at man. the hall. They're, they're a little dried out, but they'll do just fine. Here, give me that. We All definitely, right. they're a little dried out, but they're definitely Chanterelles. Look at that, boys. Holy shit. A little dirty, a little dry, but they're still there. What are you going to make with that? I don't know. Make some 
compote. What's com What's compote? It's just like a way of preserving it. You just like cook it down into like a like a little sauce and shit, and then you put it in a jar and you can it. Uh, thank you, Adam, for all your statistics yeah. knowledge. Yeah. John Henry yeah. for the mushroom knowledge. For sure, any sweaty as fucking yep. hands, dude. Yep. Yep. You're right. I wasn't sweating, and then I touched that nasty, yeah. slimy hand, yeah. and then transferred it to him. Yeah, no, I got it. And he it. was like, I, was, I saw the I, look I, in his eyes. He was I, like, like, what the I, fuck? I grabbed your hand, and it like That's squished the, out, yeah. and I was like, the oh, fuck just happened? It's yeah. kind of like hot outside. It's kind of terrible. Yeah. So, anyways, thanks for bringing me on the mushroom no extravaganza. No time. Completely unsolicited. Asked me to just come out here in the middle of nowhere and look at mushrooms. We're glad you came. That was pretty fun. That's how and now it made me here. feel younger because yeah. I'm like ten, more than 10 years older than these fucking guys. Yeah, you can finally get out of the house. <laughs> I wore a come and take it hat. Sorry to rile up your audience. <laughs> <Yeah>. Come and <laughs> take it. <laughs> I got it in Texas. <laughs> I should sell a hat that just says come and take it and it's got a picture of my cock on it. That'd yeah. be fine. Awesome. <laughs>